Happy New Year. It's December 31st, 2018, and this is Inner Treasures 108. I thought I'd do a quick reading on um, some things that I see coming in 2019. I'm going to try to do this pretty quickly so that it's not too long. I typically don't read with cards, but I have since I've been posting on um, YouTube because it gives it, it's something nice for you to see. So these are the cards that I've been using. This is the back of the deck that, I, that I've been using recently. And these cards are soul cards. They don't um, have any meetings and they're, they're quite beautiful. I have two soul card decks. This is one deck and this is the other. This particular card popped up in this, in, in this little maroon um, deck that I've been using and so I thought since it was there and it's an out you know it's a kind of a fluke that it's there it might have some kind of meaning well this is it I'm I'm really concerned this year about the um, horrible situation um, that we find ourselves in with our government I believe that it's been the case of the squeaky wheel gets the grease, and the squeaky wheel, wheel is our president who is who's throwing temper tantrums, basically. Um, we, we're seeing this with the government shutdown. He is just whipping up, whipping up, whipping up um, deep, deep-seated resentments and pre prejudices, and we're going to start seeing more and more of these um, uh, basically crimes against humanity. I mean, we are going to see a lot more uh, racist attacks. We're going to see a lot more um, uh, senseless violence um, because of these whipped up people. I don't believe that Trump is going to last the year. I believe he is going to resign, not be impeached. Even if he was impeached, I, Bill Clinton was impeached. I, that doesn't remove a president from office. So um, I, I believe he's going to resign, but it's his intention to leave behind a scorched earth. He knows that he's not going to make it through 2019. And I believe that he is very consciously trying to throw a wrench into the works of our government. Um, once he is gone, if he's not corralled in some way, he's going to continue stirring up this outcry from his supporters. It's going to be a very difficult time for us. We're really going to have to work to, um, to be centered in ourselves and to be the light and have compassion and not get caught up in this frenzy um, that, that is going to come. It's already here, but it's going to get worse. Um, this resignation may be framed as a resignation for health reasons. He is not a healthy man, but um, that, uh, that excuse for the resignation is really for him to save face. He, he is going to resign in an attempt to shield himself from prosecution uh, for crimes committed while and before he was president. Um, you know, some people are saying, oh, well, he's going to resign to, to shield his children. No, he really doesn't care about anybody but himself. So no, he's going to resign to shield himself. I believe that there is, um, there's going to be a woman that takes over the reins of this country. It may be Nancy Pelosi if something happens to Mike Pence. Um, maybe he's indicted for something. Uh, maybe he's um, pressured um, by his colleagues. I don't know, but this is a dead administration and they want to leave the country with a mortal wound. 
if if they cared, the type of stuff that is happening now would not be happening. They really, really don't care about anything but themselves and saving face. And we're going to see proof of this. We're going to see proof of this. 2019 is going to be the year of the environment. So many environmental um, uh, protections have been rolled back. We're going to start seeing some real problems with this. We're going to see a mining accident. We're going to see at least one, if not two, pipeline issues. Um, and we're going to see fires. And for some reason, I see fires in Florida. I don't know. Um, I would assume we'll have fires in California. We always do. Um, we will probably have some fires in Colorado, where I live. We always do. Florida, I'm really, really um, thinking that we may see some, some fires in Florida. And Florida has its own environmental issues also with the water. Um, the, the marine life in Florida is going to be really strongly impacted um, by pollution. Um, I think that, that Florida, if not in 2019, in 2020 is going to be declared a dead zone. Um, the ocean is going to be declared a dead zone. Um, we will have people working um, to, to, uh, to change this. I think I've said before, there are at least three people, one older, two younger, that have information and technologies that can help us reverse some of this environment, bad environmental stuff that's going on. They're just not being heard. Again, I see malice, deep, deep malice towards the normal people in this country. And Things are being done to impact our lives in, um, in, in a really um, spiteful, spiteful way. We have to make a decision as human beings. Are we going to turn to the side of light and compassion and love? Or are we going to turn to the sign of malice? We have to make a decision and then we have to follow that decision. So you really, really need to start thinking about who am I going to support? Am I going to support people who support the people? Or am I going to support people who support their pockets? Am I going to support the environment? Without the environment, without our air, without our water, we don't survive. There's going to be... Um, a big resurgence. There already is um, a, a, not a resurgence, but there's already a, a spiritual movement happening in this country. This is not a religious movement. This is a deeply personal spiritual movement um, that uh, is going to gain a lot of momentum. And there's not just one movement. There's not just one right and one wrong. Um, there are many, many paths, and people are going to start looking to their spiritual sides to help them get through this, um, this very trying year. Um, women, women are going to be the key. We have got to start listening to our women. It's going to be um, on the shoulders of the women that this turns around. Four. Hmm. So I, uh, I picked up, I should put my glasses on so I could see. Yeah, again, I, it, this is just kind of an, a, a mother nature, environmental, um, but also spiritual. I see this as this figure here as, as perhaps a monk or, or a, a lama, a Tibetan lama. And this, um, female figure here as Mother Nature. 
I've done some readings on aliens. I've done some some uh, Interstellar one and two. I've already done. I've got some more that will be coming down the pike. Um, perhaps we'll start to get some more information about alien visitations, interstellar vis visitations. Perhaps um, from the government. Perhaps from someone um, of impeccable background, unquestionable um, integrity. Uh, that we will um, hear some information from that will be that would be great. We have a lot of stuff going on in the tech world. It's really kind of blowing our minds. Elon Musk is going to be in for a very good second half, maybe um, last three quarters of 2019. He is going to be. Um, either unveiling something or um, bringing um, new life to something that's um, going to help both him and his company. I know he's had a, a tough time lately, but um, that, that, that's going to be good for him. Um, I'm getting, for some reason, Meryl Streep. This is either a very good year for Meryl Streep or maybe a bad year. I don't know, but it, it seems to me that um, Meryl Streep is going to be in the news. Um, perhaps not about acting. Perhaps she's going to really step forward on some issue that's dear to her heart, but she's going to be in our living rooms. She's going to be on the news. She's going to be on the television um, talking to us about something. Again, there's the spiritual movement, um, not a movement that says you must do this, you must do that, but there's going to be a spiritual growth movement that's going to help us get, get through this year. Um, children's rights are going to be um, high on the list of stuff um, coming to the forefront, we're really, um, we, we've really only uncovered the tip of the iceberg of the abuse of these children that are being held at the border. Um, there is going to be an outcry like there hasn't been in the past that even people who say, well, their parents shouldn't have brought them here are going to have to step back and say, oh no, what? have we done? What have we associated with ourselves? Or what have we associated ourselves with? Um, when I was a, a new mother, I was very, very concerned. I kept having dreams that my daughter had been kidnapped and I was hunting for her and the government had kidnapped her and was grooming her um, as basically a, 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 a child to be sex trafficked, trafficked um, to uh, you know, governmental people, people in the in the government. Um, so I went to go see a psychic that I knew um, in the city that I lived, just for her take on this. And she said, "Our government does not misuse children. Our government does not mis misuse children." And I felt, I felt really strongly that she was right. Our government would never misuse our children. Our government is misusing children, and it's going to come back to bite us. Again, the, the mirror is going to be held up to our faces, and we are not going to like what we see. The outcry is going to be tremendous, just tremendous. Another outcry, another outcry. Um, again, I'm getting women, women leaders. This will be the year of the woman leading. Um, the woman from New York, the young woman from New York, I believe her first name is Alexandria. I don't remember her last name. I think it starts with an O or it's a hyphenated. Um, Bless this woman's heart. She is going to be hounded. They are going to be looking at everything she does under a microscope, but she is going to really make um, her presence known. She is going to really be speaking for people who, real, who don't have a voice, and she is going to um, become an advocate, not only for the people in her state, but the people of the nation. 
what I'm seeing is that there is really um, a backlash from the old guard as they see things changing and they're trying to backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. Um, so it's really that that the, the death throes of the old white patriarchy. There's not a family in this country that does not have a member of a different ethnicity, a different religion, a different um, sexual orientation. Things are changing and they are they are not going backwards, but we're seeing this push, this push, this push. Um, I believe that this is the end for um, Mitch McConnell. I believe that there is going to be just this bottom drop out of the Republican Party when Trump resigns. I also want to just mention I'm getting that um, the military may have some um, some influence in this resignation. I don't believe there will be a military coup. I don't think the people in the United States would stand for that no matter what side they were on. Um, but I think that there's some undercurrents um, that are coming from the generals that will spur um, this resignation or will move this resignation forward. Again, not a military coup, but there's some um, influence that the military uh, will have on this. Great strides forward in human rights great strides forward in our uh, quest for equality, not only of women's rights, but um, Black Lives Matter, uh, religious rights. Um, and it's, it's not going to be the way it has been recently, I want my religious rights, and I want you to have the same religious rights I do because I want you to believe exactly what I do. This is not the case. This change will be coming in the last quarter. The last quarter of this year will be will show um, big, big changes in uh, the the way that we see members of our communities um, of any ethnicity, any sexual orientation, um, any religious or spiritual background. Um, we're going to see um, two new leaders in with uh, t for peace. Uh, one very, very much, in my mind, like Martin Luther King. This is not someone who is in the public eye right now, um, but almost a savior. And these two cards really specifically show me women. Um, so these may be women um, that are going to be uh, our, our next uh, human rights advocates on a grand scale. Um, yeah, because women are pissed off. They are really upset. Um, We are not finished seeing Olympic fallout, Olympic uh, um, the Larry Nasser stuff, the sexual abuse of the gymnasts. I think we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg um, in that it's not just these gymnasts, it's not these poor women that are gymnasts, but there's a, a, a bigger um, picture here. There's a, a, a wider... Um, malevolent um, maliciousness uh, abuse going on, and we're going to see some more of it coming out. Um, in the world of music, there's going to be a new um, band or a new uh, musical push from somebody that could rival the Beatles. Um, I think that the Beatles paved the way for lots of 
um, innovation and um, and a rise in consciousness. And I think there's another wave of that coming, another Fab Four, if if you wish. Um, this is a year of introspection for a lot of people. We have got to decide, are we on the side of light or are we on the side of maliciousness? And then we've got to make that part of our lives. Raise our frequency. Um, walk our talk. And live the way we want to live and treat others the way we would want others to treat us. I'm going to end now. I wanted to talk just briefly about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This woman is a fighter. She is not giving up, and I do not see her leaving the Supreme Court before Trump leaves office. Um, she is is there to fight for us. Um, again, we are on the brink of a revolution here. And whether that is a peaceful revolution or not, I don't know. A lot of it depends on how big a voice Trump has after he's gone because he, again, scorched earth, he will whip his followers into a frenzy. And if he is able to do that, then we can see um, even violence in the streets. So we have to be very, very centered and very clear and try to rise above that. Um, you know, not a lot of, of really uplifting things in this reading, but um, I, I'm, I'm just kind of telling it as, as I'm getting it. Uh, look for things to start happening and look for them to start happening in this first quarter very, very quickly. I understand that Trump has not been seen for quite a number of days in person, only just pictures on the news. Um, he may be starting this uh, uh, this excuse of a health crisis to resign. Again, he's not going to make the year here. He will be out of office. Um, there are minor um, uh, pluses. There are minor um, wins uh, for human rights. For us personally, we just have to be open to it. This government shutdown, it's going to continue. And we need, as a nation, to get behind and support these people who are being impacted. If you are a landlord, um, if you are um, a health care provider, look deep in your heart and see, what, is, what can I do to help these people? I think I'm going to end here. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> I, I will be back, and hopefully I will have some, some more uplifting things to say. But the most uplifting thing I can leave you with is that you will be impacted by the events in this country um, based on your frequency. So work at it. Pray. Play uplifting music. Diffuse incense or, or essential oils, do what you can to live from a higher vibrational frequency.